Hi, it's Mike Thornton from Pro Tools Expert, and today we're going to take a look at this free application, Shutter Encoder. And amongst loads of features in this free piece of software, one of the things that we can do is to convert .mov files. I've got one here, which has been Avid DNX HD36 encoded, which is what I used in a recent job. But of course, with Pro Tools 2019.12, because of the work in progress with Catalina support, we can't use .mov video files. We need to use MXF wrapped files. And so we need a way of converting them. And that's where Shutter Encoder comes in. So I'm going to quickly show you how you can do it. So I'm going to drag the video file into the window. And then the next thing we need to do is to go into this menu and select the, in the editing codex, Avid DNX HD. Then we check the type, and because we're using it with Pro Tools, I don't need huge quality, so I'll select DNX HD 36. And then in the advanced features, we select generate OP Atom format files. And that's really all there is to it then we can just set it going and it'll go away and start work. And you can see it counting down and then with the magic of editing, we will skip to the end. So now it's creating the OP Atom files. You can see over here at the moment we have a DNX HD 36, a video one, audio one, audio two. But that will change once Shutter Encoder finishes creating the OP Atom files. And there we go. We get a little alert saying it's all done. It's opened a new window showing me all the files because we had this open destination at end. And that's it. It's all ready to import into a Pro Tools session. So that's converting to OP Atom MXF files. But of course, the other option is to convert to OP1A files. And to do that, you need to use one of these two output codecs, either the XDCAM HD422 or the AVC Inter. 100. So we'll just use the XD cam option. And in the advanced section, what you need to do is to check the generate AS10 format option and then do the conversion process. And that will create an OP1A MXF file. But back to the OP Atom files, let's switch into Pro Tools and I'll show you how we import the MXF files into a Pro Tools session. So here we are in Pro Tools and we can go to File, Import, and we have to import the video and the audio separately. So we go Import Video. And here is the folder with the file. So we select the V1 MXF and open that. And of course we get our usual video import option. I'm going to select session start, click OK. And there is the video. And then we do a similar thing for the audio. So we go import audio. There's the two audio files. So we'll select both of those. Uh, I'm going to choose to add them. Done. New track, session start, click OK. And there is the audio. And of course, if I wanted to create a new stereo audio track, and then I can drag these two down onto that like that. And there we go. We're ready to go. So I hope that's been helpful to see how we can use Shutter Encoder to convert existing .mov QuickTime Media and convert it into an MXF format that we can use in Pro Tools 2019.12 now that it supports Mac OS Catalina. I'll see you again soon.